you better find your uh, father. Okay, I know you are uh, a mutal son. Anyway, Mike is yours. I'm not sure really if half of the Persian didn't have their father know their father but still I did ask you a question your prophet he was 54 years old Abu Hanafi what was the age of Aisha when he didn't marry Aisha she was six years old you said that the Shia they are bad because they are children or ch you know children molest or they molest children correct you said that well, your prophet, he was, a, you know, a child molester. Not only the Shia. Maybe, maybe your prophet was Shia. Abu, your mind. Okay, I tell you. Well, uh, a prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, he married Aisha at age of nine years old, nine six years old. Okay. Oh, is is he leaving? Oh, Virgin, please say hello to all your um, gay friends, okay, uh, who is under age of six years old. How many gay friends do you have who is under six years old? <laughs> it's really funny, you know. It's really funny and tragic at the same time. I don't understand him. Um, anyway, so uh, Aisha was nine years old. Okay, yes, and uh, and you know she reached actually poverty, so and she was able to have children and to be a woman, okay, a normal woman. So uh, talk about Momo. Who's Momo? They knew crusaders. Who's Momo? Momo is that your mother, Momo? What a stupid people. Uh, we are facing sometimes okay um, so I'm gonna talk about Momo uh, Momo is a uh, who, 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 wait, wait a minute who is uh, that priest in in, uh, in Egypt his name was uh, his name was what his name was Barsoom okay Barsoom what Barsoom actually did can you tell us Christians anyone has any clue Barsoom is the father of uh... yeah yeah I will tell you he was a filthy man he was he would sleep with women but now he's a Muslim because he's a filthy he was kicked out from the Christians and he became a Muslim now why the Muslims accept someone as a filthy to be one of them you got the answer now listen to me uh, Abu <laughs> everybody in the room heard you speaking about child molesters but still you don't want to answer me about your prophet. 54 years old, 6 years old girl, what they have to share? Why your prophet, he did marry Aisha at the age of 6? Do you know how many years the difference between them? No, she was 6, I can show you the hadith. Do you want to show you? In the front of the room. And six years, according to the Islamic calendar, it is five years in our calendar. Because as you know, Islamic calendar is shorter than us and ours. Okay, here we go. I will give you the hadith from Aisha herself that he did marry her at the age of six, <coughs> six, he had intercourse with her at the age of nine, which means from six to nine he was molesting her. Your mic, read for us. Okay, uh, well, she was nine years old, okay, when Prophet Muhammad took her to bed. Is that clear? So, uh, I don't think um, I don't support the idea. Uh, you know, I heard that, and I, you know, you know I, today I've been talking to a Muslim room about that issue. I said, okay, um, 
guys, I want to ask about that thing. And, you know, they told me she, uh, she was nine years old and uh, uh, she it was, uh, when she was six years old, Muhammad uh, asked her from her, fa from her father, who, is, who was Abu Bakr, okay, Abu Bakr Sadiq, and therefore um, he married her, okay. He married her, but you know he took her to bed when she was uh, nine years old, when she reaches poverty. But let me tell you, and let me ask you a question. Okay, I, I hope you answer me. Why in no one around Muhammad uh, was complaining about that? At that at that time, it's it was well known. Um, if a girl between nine years old and twelve years old, not um, not married. She would. Uh, she people think of her as not okay, and you know she's. She has some problem, okay? Because at that time, people uh, we are talking about 1,400 years, okay? 1,400 years, not today or to, uh, or yesterday, okay? But 1,400 years. So people were, uh, you know, grow up so fast. And let me give you uh, just an incident. To, uh, a year ago, I heard that uh, a girl. In Egypt, she was nine years old or ten years old, actually, was raped by a guy, and she was pregnant. Okay, and she wa she was able to put a baby in very normal way. Okay, why follow him, Abu? Well, I follow him. Uh, what I supposed to be to answer you? Okay, I I'm telling you. Okay, I know he's not sick. He's not a say he's a prophet as as Jesus was, okay? I will not leave Islam. I'm not, I'm I'm fine, you know. But let me tell you something. Uh, just I just wanna something very quickly. I hope Christian Prince will not cut me off. Well I think um, uh, Muslims in the West and who live in Europe actually, specifically, uh, are completely different from Muslims in the Middle East, okay? So uh, in everything, you know, sometimes when I go to their rooms, they think of me as a Christian, or maybe. Uh, that's the point I want to say, okay? What a retard. You recording me? Okay, I have no problem, okay? Record whatever you want. I mean, anyway, um, I leave, I'll leave the mic for you. What it sound like he's scary when he said he's recording. Don't worry, those people they record anything. You know, and the other day I have a mosquito was singing in here and they record the mosquito. She was singing like you know, and they made a video on YouTube saying a mosquito taking shahada in Christian Prince room. Which is false. She was singing uh, you know, sing halal food, halal food. But because nobody understands the language of mosquitoes except me. You know, because this is an Arab mosquito. She was singing in Arabic. So those people, they thought that this is uh, Shahada, when it is not. Anyway, how are you doing, Al-Ghalban? How are you doing? The mic is yours, Al-Ghalban. And uh, Abu, I will, I will get back to you after we hear Al-Ghalban. Go ahead, Al-Ghalban. 